it's a great way to start a morning. A little look over here, so just driven across the the roof of the UK. So we've got um, you know, Liverpool over that way, Manchester over that way. Just driven past um, and, and over by uh, Leeds, Bradford, and Sheffield, and uh, yeah, it just feels good to be. Uh, <laughs> feels like we spent spent the last sort of three years uh, hiding away in an office in Nottingham, and over the last sort of six months. Um, getting out and about, looking at uh, properties in a, in, a, in a wider area is feeling good. It's a bit cold, so I'll get back in the car. So. Um, oh, yeah. Um, so, uh, reason for the video this morning was um, I, I want to. I want. Well, I've got something at the end. I want to. I want to cover off as well. But uh, um, just want to answer two questions that get asked a lot. And the first one is. Um, why why don't we or I personally buy all the houses that we can find uh, and the second one is do we I as a company whatever either or um, take all the best houses um, dead, dead easy one to answer and, and, and the re reason I'm, I'm covering it off now is because I guess there's a healthy amount of scepticism around um, a company such as ours that provides a service such as ours that those those questions get asked a lot it's good to good to be skeptical and ask the questions we welcome it if, if at the end of this, this video you still got more questions come along to a discovery day that's what we run a discovery day for um to uh, to get everybody's questions answered uh, but to answer those um questions specifically um why don't i buy all the houses um we, we run a business where we will find, fix, and then rent a property for landlords. There's a need for that as a business. Landlords don't have the time, skill, or inclination. They're the three things that uh, a landlord would typically lack, either one of those things or all of those things. Uh, time, skill, or inclination. It's, it's hard work finding a house, fixing it up, getting it rented out, and people need the help to do that. So there's a business there to do it. Um, so the answer, why don't I buy all the houses, I suppose on, on the one hand, I buy as many as I can, and then we design a business that buys more than I can buy. Um, so if I, if, I, if I want to buy one or two houses in a month, we design a business that uh, will find ten, and I take an extra two. Um, what tends to happen, or what has happened, and that, that's, that's why I'm here now in um, uh, Greater Manchester, popping over to the Wirral later on and like I say later on this um, t tomorrow morning actually we'll be back in uh, over near Sheffield um, we've, we've built a business that's gradually bought more and more houses and now I can buy more and more houses myself so um, I think people tend to understand that when they come and see us it's like oh yeah this is a business and yeah, got guys back in the office that if I bought every house they'd be out of, out, out of business but, yeah also I'd be buying a lot less houses we're, we're, we're doing um, doing very well now it's, it's working really well um, and and the next one was uh, well do I take all the best houses um, and that's what I wanted to, one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you this morning um, it's been the Christmas period happy new year to you by the way um, it's been the Christmas period uh, things sort of quieting down a little bit in December um, things take a little bit of a while to wake up in January so are we now we're on the, uh, the 10th today I'm recording this um, and We've got now well, six times the amount of um, firepower, if you like, out there looking for properties than we had um, perhaps a year ago. So what's happened is, uh, come come January the um, second, third, whatever it was when we got back, um, people called us up and we've we've, we've bought houses. We've bought we've bought about this. This, this could almost be like a, a plea for help. Um, we've got 16 houses in the hopper right now, which is an unprecedented amount. It's, it's, it's a, a really nice problem to have. One of the trickiest bits about being a property investor is finding the properties, you know, actually spending the time and effort and, 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 and finding them. What, what happens is typically we, we, we would do about 50 viewings to find one property. And uh, just now we've done ever so slightly better than that. Uh, also, a number of properties that we were looking at in November and December have come back to us in January. Um, and they're available right now. So this this video is letting you know that if if one of your um, I don't like the idea of New Year's resolutions. I think you should have you know, stable, constant goals that you're always checking up on. But uh, you know this is a January video, so here we are. Um, but if if one of your things you're planning for this year is to um, buy your first buy to let property or buy the next buy to let property, uh, and you're thinking about how to do that, um, there are some there in the hopper as we call it. 
they're there ready to be allocated right now so if you've met us you've been to a discovery day um, be in touch get some details and um, the, the, the deals are there uh, typically in, in this area I say this area you know that, that's covering from Sheffield over to uh, Liverpool and um, you know going going through Bradford Leeds Bradford Manchester all those places as well typically they are 50 or 60 thousand pound terraced houses I mean you know <laughs> those kind of things um, and uh, that that's what we're making a, um, a, a beeline for they are you know, great yielding property, properties instantly uh, we'll almost always put a, a renovation sort of a 10 to 15 thousand pound renovation in them and usually once they're once they're done they're worth you know, well 20 percent more hopefully that's the idea um so you know 65 75 85 90 thousand pounds and they're going up in value in these areas that's why we're targeting these areas uh, and also um they're, you know, good good areas to rent out so they're the properties uh, i haven't answered your question do i get to get the best properties and this is this is the reason i'm making the video is um any that are left they're the ones i take so um I, th there's a way of looking at that that says i'll get the ones that we can't get rid of um i look at it as I'm, I'm getting the ones that I deserve because I, I, I want I want as many as I can. I do want to buy as many properties as I, as I possibly can. So um, that's another way of looking at it. Um, I think the pragmatic way to look at it is, honestly, they're all the same. Um, we buy to a very strict model and a property that gets sale agreed is pretty much the same. The reason that um, some stick around, like I say, Adam's got um, Adam in the office now. He's got a number in the hopper. I don't know, by the time by the time you call them, most of them will go. We know they'll go. We know they'll go. But I, I do also know that with that number, I will be buying two, three, four properties uh, this month, which is great news for me. Absolutely brilliant. Um, so if you make the phone call today to Adam and say, I'd like to buy one of these houses, just you can rest assured that if you don't make that phone call, I will be buying it. And there's, you know, there's definitely some, some comfort that uh, could be had um, um, by, by that knowledge as well, I guess. So, um, If you're not quite ready yet, uh, or you haven't met us yet, book on a discovery day, come and see what all the fuss is about. And um, yeah, we'll answer all your questions. I'd appreciate it. There's a yeah, number of steps that most people have to go through before they get uh, all their questions answered and uh, start to invest, build their empire. So have a good new year, and hopefully I'll get to see some of you uh, very soon. Bye for now.